Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're tackling an issue that many of you have faced. What to do if your camera is missing from the device manager on Windows 10 or Windows 11. If your camera isn't showing up or isn't working properly, don't worry. I'll guide you through a complete list of solutions that will help you resolve this problem step by step. So, let's get started. First, let's ensure that Windows has proper access to your camera. Sometimes, simple privacy settings can block camera access without you realizing it. To check this, right-click on the Windows icon at the bottom left corner, and then from the menu, select Settings. Once you are in the Settings, from there, go to the Privacy section. Once you are there, on the left-hand menu, locate the App Permissions category, and then, in this category, click on Camera. You'll now see the option to allow apps to access your camera. Make sure this toggle is turned on. Once you're done, then scroll down further to find Allow Desktop Apps to access your camera and ensure that this is enabled as well. Additionally, if you're using specific applications like Skype, Teams, or Zoom, ensure that their individual permissions are also enabled. Once you've adjusted these settings, close the window and test if your camera is now working. If the issue persists, let's move on to resetting the camera app itself. Open the Windows search bar by clicking on the magnifying glass icon or pressing the Windows key and type camera. When the camera app appears in the search results, right click on it and then from the menu, select app settings. Scroll down until you find reset section. In this section, click on the reset button. You'll need to confirm this action by clicking reset again. This process will reset the camera app to its default settings and clear any temporary glitches that may have been causing the problem. Once the reset is complete, close the settings window and check if your camera is now functional. If resetting the app didn't resolve the issue, we'll now turn to the device manager where you can directly manage your hardware devices. To access it, right-click on the Windows icon again and then from the menu, select Device Manager. Once you are in the Device Manager window, select anything from there. Once you select it, go to the top menu, click on Action tab, and select Scan for Hardware Changes option. This will prompt your system to search for any hardware components that might not be recognized or properly installed. If your camera still doesn't appear, we'll try adding it manually. To do this, go back to the Action menu and click on Add Legacy Hardware. A wizard will open. Click Next. Then select Install the hardware that I manually select from a list, Advanced, and click Next again. Look for cameras in the list, select it, and click Next. If your camera model appears, select it and complete the installation process. Afterward, restart your computer to ensure the changes take effect. If your camera is still missing, you might need to take an alternative route by adding it under Imaging Devices. Follow the same process as before. Click on the Action tab at the top, and then go to Add Legacy Hardware option and then select the Advanced option, and then click Next. Now scroll down, and this time choose Imaging Devices instead of Cameras, and then simply click the Next. You'll see a list of manufacturers on the left and corresponding models on the right. Select the manufacturer of your camera and the appropriate model. If your exact model isn't listed, you can select the generic Microsoft option. Once you select it, hit the Next, and then again click Next, and then finally hit Finish and then installation will be completed. Once the process is complete, restart your PC and check if the camera appears in the device manager. If none of the previous steps worked, it's time to utilize Windows built-in troubleshooting tools. Open the Windows search bar again, and then type troubleshoot settings. Once you type it, and then select it from the results, and it opens the troubleshooting menu. Now, you will see small option in the blue color that says additional troubleshooters. Simply click on Additional Troubleshooters option. Once you are there, now, here look for the Camera option, run the troubleshooter, and follow the on-screen instructions. If the Camera option isn't available, try selecting Video Playback instead. Simply click on the Video Playback, and then click on the Run the Troubleshooters. This tool will identify and resolve common issues related to video devices. After some loading, you will see this type of option. From there, click on the first option, and the process will be complete. Once the troubleshooter completes its process, 
Test your camera again to see if the issue has been resolved. Still having trouble? Then you might need to download and install the camera driver manually. For example, if you're using a Logitech webcam, search for Logitech Camera Driver Download along with your operating system version, such as Windows 10 or 11. Open your web browser. You can use any browser. Once you are in, click on the search bar and type Logitech Camera Driver Download and then type your operating system. In my case, mine is Windows 10. So I type it. Once you type it, hit the enter and then multiple results will appear. Click on the first link in the results and the manufacturer's official website will be open in front of you. The manufacturer's website will have the latest driver for your device. Download and install it, then restart your computer. This step is especially important if you're using an external camera or if your device is from a specific brand like HP, Lenovo, or Acer. If your camera is built into your laptop, the driver might already be available on the laptop manufacturer's website. After installing the driver, return to the device manager. You can do this by right-clicking on the window icon at the bottom left corner, and then from the menu, click on the device manager. Once you are in the device manager, select any driver from the list, and then click on view in the top menu, and then from the menu, click on the show hidden devices option. Then go back to the action menu and select scan for hardware changes. This final scan should make your camera visible in the device manager. At this point, it's also crucial to double check that your camera is properly connected to your device, especially if it's an external camera. If none of these solutions work, the most likely issue is that the camera driver wasn't properly installed or updated. Make sure you've downloaded the correct driver from the official manufacturer's website, installed it correctly, and restarted your PC. Once all these steps have been completed, your camera should be back in the device manager and functioning as expected. And there you have it. I hope this comprehensive guide helped you resolve the issue of your camera missing from the device manager. And that's it. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.